How about a quick cold start? Driving in a building. So I had to run home here, but we got the car almost all detailed up. You can see there's a lineup of cars here, so. You got Frank's Porsche. So this is the supercar kind of section. Ferrari, there's an R8 down there as well. And then this is the McLaren Philadelphia section. So you got Mike's car. Don't mind the streaks. We're going to come back to that. My car, and then Philly has a car. So we'll be here. Be a nice little setup. We have all this space. So let's talk about Mike's car for a second. I told him I'd stay behind and help him out because this poor soul <laughs> tried to detail the car. He's got streaks there. He's got streaks on the body here. I don't know if it'll come out on camera. Here you can kind of see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean this up for him. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of the crap on the car. So we roll in here through basically, it's the farm show in PA, which is a huge show. It's I think the biggest indoor farm show in the country. Um, it's been going on for over a hundred years um, in central Pennsylvania here, but they do that show before this auto show. So like you go through hay and all sorts of dirt driving through to get in here. They really should have the auto show first, but um, so I'm just gonna do my best to get this cleaned up for him uh, because I don't wanna see his car like that. And he needs some help, so we're gonna get that done right now. Mike's car is a lot better. I have a little bit of cleaning up yet to do. I need more towels, so tomorrow I'll bring some more back. But uh, tomorrow's the kickoff of the show. Benefits of being here late at night and kind of getting everything prepared and cleaned up. Since I won't be here for the show opening tomorrow, I have to work, but I'll be here after afterwards, is uh, you get a sneak peek of the show beforehand. I mean, look, there's no one. This is just one expo center, I should say, one part of the building. So you have a beautiful red 570S Spider from McLaren Philly. I actually, I'm usually a fan of black wheels, but I do like the kind of silver wheels with this spec. Very nice. You have a Ford Escort. Gotta have a green Mustang. Frank's Porsche. This thing's slammed. I don't know how he gets anywhere around here, but check this out. So he's got the white touches on the interior. That's really nice. And then he has roll cage, everything in there. You have my friend Reese, his beautiful Gallardo that I mentioned in my two videos ago, I think. The interview with him. This color, I, I, it's not going to show up on camera, but this is a beautiful color. And you don't see many Gallardos in this color. I mean, you guys are OG subscribers. You know I had a Verde Ithaca, similar to Mike's Napier Green, Verde Ithaca Gallardo. They're gorgeous cars. I mean, they, they're 2006. They're how old now? 12, 13, 14 years old. And they still look relevant today. You have an Ultima. I believe in Avora. It's a nice color. It's like a it's similar to Volcano Orange. 360. R8. And M3. So this is the supercar kind of lineup. I'm gonna take you guys over to something really special, at least I think. So let's go check it out. 
You got OG Bumblebee, the Saline Mustang, and of course, Optimus. This is pretty insane. I mean, look how cool that is. That's cool. Definitely some unique stuff. I think last year they had the Back to the Future car. They had the Dumb and Dumber puppy mobile. They always have some unique stuff here. We're here at the auto show. Yes. How are you doing, Troy? I'm doing well. He just asked me for his vlog. Now I'm asking him for my vlog. Like they're like, now what? Are, now what are they doing? These, these psychos. It's been a crazy day. We're gonna go down here and talk to Reese. Um, my vlogging. Can you lift your door up for me? Yeah, I can no, lift it up. You can't lift your door. Yeah, I don't want to lift it up. I can't lift my door up. It's broken. He won't put his door my up. Doors, is it a lamp? Doors are broken. Yeah, but they don't lift up. A donation, you guys can come in here and pay to sit in the in car. Real car. Take some pictures. Oh, oh. Uh, the McLaren 720. <laughs> Been a great show. Thank you to everybody who came out so far. This is the Saturday. I'll be back here on Sunday. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. We have some pretty cool limited edition McLaren collab shirts. You can see Troy Sour Street Speed. And this is actually a reflective, so when the light hits it, it's kind of reflective. You can see it's branded up here and then on the back. So you guys will be able to get these shirts at any show with McLaren Philadelphia that Mike and I will be at. All together, these three goons, the three cars, this one, this one, this one, all won the voting contest for the charities. What what foundation are you guys donating to? Four diamonds. Right on. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the show. Not a lot of walking around content, but uh, Reese, what do you think? I thought it was a good show. I mean, any charitable event's always a good show. You know, anything that has to do with any kind of charity, I think yeah. there's no such thing as a bad show, Troy. Yeah, so we're gonna try, you know, you guys know Reese, if you haven't seen the video of him explaining his potential racing career here at his age and kind of his story, uh, make sure you guys check out the um, video in the description. I'll put that down below, but, um, so we're, we're kind of two racing gurus, connoisseurs here, and, and this, we think we have an idea for the show next year bring some race cars out and potentially maybe even a simulator or something yeah. so people can actually experience these cars now I, I don't want you to think of a simulator like a video game I, I want you to actually think of a simulator that these race teams are using to practice their drivers to train um, and we think we kind of cool to maybe get some of uh, our contacts together and maybe McLaren Philly now that they're a motorsport yeah. dealer um, and like, bring the cars out like and sim seats I'm gonna be visiting yeah. sim seats uh, give a little plug there but uh, yeah. they're very well known in the industry for you know sim professional simulator systems for the pro drivers but yeah so hopefully we can bring some race cars out here and as well as the road cars so you guys can see the road cars the race cars and uh, potentially maybe even get into the uh, the simulator and hop in and see what it's like to, to race these things around track so we just kind of wanted to give you our final thoughts here um, and uh, yeah we'll kind of wrap it up and uh, get home hopefully the weather holds out for us but we'll see you guys back at the house as you can see we got the car home just in time. Another snowstorm, well I say storm, but it's like three, four inches of snow, not too bad. Here in Pennsylvania, so unfortunately summer is still yet um, a long way off. Thank you to everybody who came out to the show to say hi to Mike and I, who just kind of hung out, who talked, who donated money. Um, it's just always nice to connect with all of you guys. So again, um, I know sometimes we don't say it every video, but it does mean a lot that you guys come out um, and say hi. You know, I just do this for the fun. I don't do this as a living. I don't do this for the money or anything like that. I enjoy making the videos and I enjoy talking to you guys um, and hearing that positive feedback. So thank you guys for that. Make sure you stay tuned here in the next couple weeks, um, maybe the next month or so here uh, as racing season starts. You guys, uh, if you're into racing or anything like that, you guys might like some of the upcoming content. Make sure you guys do me a favor and like this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one.